Now, if flips, turns, and handstands aren't daunting enough already, try doing so while landing on something the width of this cell phone. And the Cyclones hope the momentum from this big score today can carry them all the way through regionals in a couple of weeks. Reporting from the Big 12 Championships here at Hilton Coliseum, I'm Andrew Schneider for Cyclones.tv. Once again, the Iowa State Cyclones beat the number two Oklahoma State Cowboys 37 to 31 in double overtime. For ISU TV with Matt Van Winkle, I'm Andrew Schneider. Fans Marathon is ramping up their fundraisers and they've added a new event. Andrew Schneider joins us in studio with more details. Thanks. And that different skill set, in fact, requires hand-eye coordination and skills in operating a mouse and a keyboard and maybe even a joystick. Most people associate Dance Marathon with dancing. This year, the staff is broadening its horizons to a new group of students. It's a huge fundraiser for us. It's something that we've never done before, and we're always looking for new ways to involve more people on campus. The new group? Gamers. Dance Marathon teamed with Game Renegades and Mayhem Comics to raise awareness and funding. Oh, we've seen a lot of um, sponsors and people in the community just kind of take ownership of it as an event. It's really been great. President of Game Renegades Jeff Kramer said it was a natural fit for the club to jump on board. We've been a gaming club here on campus for a couple years now and we were, uh, we've always been uh, looking for more charity events uh, to participate in. We were more than happy to help them out. The goal for Dance Marathon was to take a recently created national event, Extra Life, and bring it back to Ames. Well, this summer I went to a national conference down in Atlanta, and I actually got to talk to the founder of Extra Life, and it was really inspiring to hear kind of his story and why he does things. So we kind of wanted to bring it back to Iowa State. And the money they raised was in the thousands. This event is one the organization hopes to make annual. And this is really exciting for us because we have 50 new people that we've outreached to that um, are raising money for the same cause, and I think over the years we can even make it bigger as it goes on. Andrew Schneider reporting, ISU TV. This is one of many events starting the fundraising season for the dancers, as they have more coming up this week as a part of Homecoming. Once a year, ISU students come together to raise money to fight a disease that touches everyone. Andrew Schneider joins us in studio with more. After numerous smaller events, Colleges Against Cancer teamed up with the American Cancer Society for their main event of the year. David Geiger and I have more. It's a fact. Cancer affects almost everyone. Well, when you think about it, cancer isn't just at Iowa State. It's not just in Iowa. It's not just in the United States. Cancer touches everyone all over the world. The annual ISU Relay for Life is a way for students to raise money and awareness for the fight against cancer. It's fun. I love seeing all the smiles on everyone's faces. Participants say Relay offers a chance to emotionally support those affected. I just know like when my mom and I first did it, it was like a healing process. It's for a really good cause. I mean, even if you haven't had like a family member or friend that has had cancer, it's really good to support people because they need all the support they can get. Cancer survivor Leslie Perg feels it's important to have students start advocacy now. Um, you know, cancer's not a fun topic, but, you know, if you can look at it positively and know that you're going to make a difference, then we can do it together. She says it takes a positive attitude and group efforts to make life easier for cancer patients. And I think it's great to have the students involved because we can have this community come together and raise money and raise awareness. And then when people graduate and go off and do life, they can continue that advocacy. With David Geiger, I'm Andrew Schneider, ISU TV. Not counting after event donations, they raised more than $89,000 and more than 1,200 community members registered to be a part of this year's event. Earlier this week, the Iowa Board of Regents announced that Iowa State will receive a new state relations officer. Joe Murphy is currently with the Ames-based Summit Group and will take over for Ann McCarthy next week. Before joining the Summit Group, Murphy has worked as the state relations officer for the University of Northern Iowa. McCarthy, who joined the board in 2010, will assume new responsibilities, including developing new economic initiatives and policies for the board. Murphy is set to start his duties on November 19th. The Ames Police Department conducted compliance checks of 33 local licensed liquor establishments. Of those 33, 10 were found to be selling alcohol to underage persons, including AJ's Liquor, Swift Shop, Tobacco Outlet, and Hy-Vee Gas. If cited for selling alcohol to minors, one can face fines totaling over $700.